For an agricultural civilization like ancient China, the people knew the significance of the soil all too well. Li Shen, a Tang Dynasty poet, described the hardships of farm work in his classic poem Sympathy for the Peasants. Hoeing millet in midday heat, sweat dripping to the earth beneath, do you know the food on your plate? Each grain was hard earned. The word Li uses for earth or soil is this. There are three different theories for how soil has come to be represented by this character. Some say it started out as a depiction of soil. In the oracle bone script, it depicted a pile of soil on the ground, whereas in bronze inscriptions, a small dot was included in the middle to depict a pellet of soil. From a pile or pellet of soil, its meaning was later extended to refer to the entire ground beneath us. A second group of scholars think that the oracle bone script character instead depicts a ritual stone tablet. The character is associated with the soil, as these ritual tablets were usually erected on top of a soil mound to create an altar for sacrifice to spirits of the land. One such spirit was possibly the earth god, Tu Di Gong, who is still widely worshipped today. According to this theory for the bronze inscription version of the character, this small dot was not a pellet of soil but wine poured to the ground as an offering to him. The third theory of the character's origins has to do with the character as it is found in the Han Dynasty dictionary, the Shuo Wen Jie Zi, or discussing writing and explaining characters. According to this dictionary, the character has two horizontal lines to represent the middle and bottom layers of soil from which organisms emerge. In modern Chinese, Japanese and Korean, the character can mean soil, earth and items made of earth. In Chinese, the character is additionally associated with the sense of a country bumpkin. So when we put together the word for speech, hua, for instance, we get the term bumpkin speak, a slightly derogatory name for certain Chinese dialects, especially those spoken in rural areas. The Middle Chinese pronunciation was tu. This becomes tu in Mandarin, to and do in Japanese, and to in Korean. It is pronounced to in Vietnamese and to in Cantonese. The Japanese also have their own reading of tsi. Meanwhile, the Koreans have the word hu to mean earth, soil, and so they refer to this character as hu to. The Vietnamese also have the word dal. Which theory do you guys find most compelling? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching today's video. If you learned something, please give a like and consider subscribing. Don't forget that we've set up a website which you can find at 808cjk.com. If you enjoy learning about languages, head on over to our Discord where you can find more like-minded people. A special thanks goes out to our patrons for making this project possible. If you want to support us too, you can find the link to our Patreon below. See you next time!